thrifting. I've been thrifting. Hi guys. The next piece, I found this at a vintage market. Oh my God, guys. I know I have a black trench coat already, but I couldn't resist this matrix version. Ah! Uh. Uh, the, the battery died, and so it's now so late. But I thought I'd just finish up and show, show you what I was gushing about because this is a big gush. So, <laughs> yes, I know it's, it looks Matrix-like. That's the whole idea. It is, I believe, a man's coat. But I love it. Ouch. I was washing dishes and cut my finger. And I love it. So I think he wanted $90, but I talked him down to $40. To $80. 40 I wish. Honestly, the resale market vintage stuff, they are so... They are weeping in the box these days, trust me. Oh, and this is just gorgeous, guys. It's really, really a long line, almost to the ankle coat. And I've always wanted one. And I just love it. So this in itself dissolved just, just styling. It's black, so it fits right into my wardrobe. So yeah, there, there was no argument about that. <sighs> really love it. Honestly, it's so great. Looks so gorgeous with yellow too. So I will style it for you today. And this is going to be my go-to for the fall for sure. And easing in. Easing in actually gliding in <laughs> gliding in stepping in to winter yeah elegant elegantly and chic and you know the interesting thing is it has two buttons so all I need to do is actually three buttons I can wear this all by itself. Yep. Like I've done in the past with most of my trench coats, I wear them all by themselves. My brush showing. Okay. As you guys know on this channel, Sustainability Matters, we embrace imperfect sustainability so i'll leave you some tips on how you could be imperfectly sustainable so guys sit tight and enjoy the leveling up of this piece very much yeah when you look at it unstyled all you see is the matrix okay we are going to undo that image we are going to reclaim the positive and chic image that a long trench leather coat should have because the matrix definitely ruined it for me at one point but i'll show you how to spice it up make it look chic again and <laughs> wear your long black leather coat as a dress and as an outerwear as well let's do this
Of course, you need a statement belt. See the look coming together already? <laughs> that there you have look number one i love this belt it's so versatile and of course you'll see in the next look i'll switch it to the other side And all I simply did is to change up the accessory a bit, switch the belt around, and for me, this is definitely a new look. It is different. This you could wear on an other evening out, and you could change your boot as well. And you could also change your hair. Just put it in a different chic style, and you could. Look three is another simple belted look. All I simply did is to add a narrower belt. Definitely gives it a different look in a different color as well as a different matching color purse it's so amazing what a different color belt could do just to level up that look i hope you get what i'm doing here incorporate color of any kind and immediately you have undo that matrix like image that we often associate with a long black trench leather coat. So all you need to do is to simply add texture as well and I'll show you. For me this is one way you could wear your long trench coat as a dress. I have definitely worn this, not this particular piece, but my black leather as a dress before. Adding a lacy tie might be a bit much for some. Me personally, I don't mind it. I love it. I've actually worn leather and laces together. So this is another way of adding a little bit of texture. I've worn this look and I love this as a dress. So I have this sort of bustier but sweetheart neckline, lacy top. This on top of this. added the belt here vintage guys yeah put this at the back this look is a definite vibe for me i absolutely love the tasseled belted look combined with the lace and the style of the lacy top guys it's a vibe for me the sweetheart neckline oh my god guys yeah so for some you, you could simply pair with anything lacy or cotton whatever you have but something with texture if you recall my last few videos, I've shown you how easily that 
leathers could hike or ride up. So in this case, the piece that you pair with it on the outside may either ride down in this particular case. So one of the tricks I use is to belt it with the belt that I've just shown you. But like this <laughs> oh my god I love this look as well a great night out look and definitely nobody would ever think matrix if they see you pair it this way trick is to pair leather on leather. This is a very leather-like material. And here I am again opting to wear my tan leather belt with the leather on leather look. The interesting thing about this particular look is that it has a two-tiered look. Absolutely love this vibe. It really, really gives the piece a completely different look. This piece is interesting because it has great little frilly or a peplum like details. So it brings attention to the waistline and it makes you look chic. And for me, definitely not matrix like. like me and you still have your vest from <laughs> what was passed down to you or from whatever 80s or 90s this is a great way to add texture as well as a new look to really make this look less matrix so I chose the white piece but you have the option of any other color that you want to add piece another interesting look that you could add is also a silky spaghetti strap dress oh my god it will look so cute something floral on top of this also style your trench coat as a dress to make it look less matrix and to up the sheet game <laughs> 